up you guys and of course welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly and you know it is Garander and today we're going against uh, TD Factor or known as the Dragon Factor. He has a YouTube channel on his own so I'm gonna link that down below. He's doing pocket tubing but he's also doing other games like shoot 'em ups. I think I saw Halo on his sides and stuff like that. So definitely check it out guys. Um other than that he wanted to know your game because he didn't have any Pokemons that were in a lesser tier so I was actually kinda fine with that. Little scared but I wanted to try out my Mega Metagross, or other uh, Metagross set that I've been uh, designed for the Mega Metagross that I know is going to work really well if my opponent doesn't know what I'm up to. And uh, other than that, I'm using Mew with the Transform set and the uh, Halucha. And then we've got the Team Full set just for the hell of it. He is using Weezing, Shaman, Clefable, uh, Espeon, Heatran, and Sharpedo. And uh, looking at the team from the get-go, Sharpedo is going to be his Mega Pokemon. And uh, I really didn't see a reason to bring Mew in case he decided to start off with... Um, because either Espeon or his Sharpedo could be the lead. And I really didn't want to set up rocks or anything like that if he decided to go for Espeon. So uh, my Giggle was my best bet. And uh, I was actually hoping for him to actually lead with the Sharpedo. Because it felt like that would cover more most ground against me if he started off with that. So uh, with that in mind guys, let's go. So, I am definitely luckier to get to, like I said there, because he's gonna start off with the Sharpedo, and, uh, you know, I can deal with that with Vulcan the Gigalith. I'm not gonna go for the superpower off the bat, because I know he's gonna protect and get a speed boost, and that's really fine, so I'm gonna go for an EQ in case I can decide to switch out, and after this I'm just gonna go for superpower, hoping for the, um, the waterfall, if he's going for that, that it's not going to flinch me, because if he's do that, then I'm in trouble. So he's going for that waterfall, and um, you know, it's pretty darn close to take me out. Like, yeah, very close. And I do not flinch here, and of course, Super Power will take it out. And uh, yeah, that's great. That is his Mega Pokemon out of the way. And uh, from this point on, I see no reason to keep Gilith around because he, he won't uh, speed anything anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna sadly let him leave him be here. But I get a key opportunity now to bring my Metagross, because my Mega Metagross has Pursuit. And the reason for that is that I want to have a free uh, Mega Evolution going, and also hit the opponent with a Pursuit, which... May, since he has Tough Claw, the Pursuit does a lot of damage, and in this situation it actually kills Despion, which is just awesome. I knew that set would work eventually, I really did. Similar Heatran is coming in here, and I don't see an air balloon, so I'm just gonna go straight up the earthquake, hoping for it to not be focus sashed. And yes, that killed. I actually, my Mega Metagross is fully invested in speed. Mega Metagross actually got 110 in base speeds. So that is extremely high, and it's very, very capable of dealing with a lot of things. And I did predict the Willow is coming this way, and I just saw this as a golden opportunity to uh, actually synchronize that further. <laughs> and give him the burn of course and since his Espeon is gone I know I can set up Stealth Rock there's no reason for me not to so he's gonna decide to switch out and go into no the Glyphable and yeah I was very unsure which kind of set this was I was hoping for that he was gonna start up with uh, Cosmic powers and stuff like that so I decided to go into full and uh, just go for the Giga Impact do as much damage as possible and he's gonna show me the charge beam. So at this point, I was thinking, okay, that I can kind of cope with. So I'm gonna go into my Boo Grab movement correctly and uh, just try from there on to do some damage. Plus, get the sense from off, which is always nice. But he's gonna show me the cosmic power, and uh, that kind of means that um, I'm on a timer basically, and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get stalled out, and I'll try to. Uh, you know, play around it too much. I was in a very comfortable position at this point. So, uh, yeah, Mega Metagross coming in, of course, and uh, look at that, 5 damage. Um, <laughs> so I'm just gonna go for an Iron Head, because he has no Pokemon that can really cope with that damage. And uh, this Shaman will sadly fall, not for the first one, but definitely for the second one. And due to my base speed, like I said before, 
I am able to outspeed and finish this off. So he's gonna go to his Weezing now and do. Uh, really at this point I was just, I felt like I wanna play around. Because I kinda had the game, I could just have gone for a sin hit but there and uh, the Weezing would have been done for. But I really wanted to give my opponent an honest chance. So I switched into my uh, Mew here. And uh, I'm just gonna troll around a bit. I want him to switch out to his uh, Clefable. So what I'm gonna do now is roost up, you know, show him um, that uh, he has no way of defeating me and the bird will kill him eventually if he decides to stay in. So a little slow part here, guys. Sorry for that. So anyway, like I said, roost is coming. <laughs> roost is coming. This Mew set though, I can't tell you how many guys that have been just overall frustrated over the set. It works great because you basically have seven move slot with transform and it's great to steal other other mega pokes if they aren't faster than you. It kinda works a little bit. So anyway I do predict him now to switch out to skill fables. I'm just gonna go for the transform and I did predict right. But the sad part is that I realized throughout this that we're probably gonna set up the same way. So even though we're both our clefables, he has the cosmic power, store power, and the charge beam, and I think what is that? Softball, moonlight. So this is basically a stall out, and um, I realized throughout this that um, the store power will not do any damage on any of us whatsoever. So if I'm not able to take it out, I can at least transform afterwards because I will be able to outspeed and uh, steal his all his boosts if that's the case so this actually turned out to be a very very scary situation because I basically let it set up and uh, well we don't hurt each other like whatsoever there is no damage <laughs> that's being done here whatsoever so that's a stored power with I think that's six or five boosts so that that is terrifying so I am forced to switch out and I do that because this game would have gone on for another it turns. I actually went from um, what was that? I think we're 12 turns in, and uh, this battle, those, oh, it was 12 turns in when the Clefable came in, and now we are, or I think we're this on the 26th turn. So we basically are in 10 turns of, uh, or almost 15 turns of nothingness. So anyway, of course, even with the charge beam, he's not able to do much damage, and he is fully boosted with the cosmic power, and I still do roughly, I think that is like one third. And then the left throws he cover up the rest thing here. But of course, I do need to flinch it in a, in a few rows if I'm going to be able to actually win this. And like I said, if my Metagross doesn't pull this off, I need to go into my Mew and just stall it out and wait for him to struggle. Uh, or, you know, hoping for him only have Charge Beam left so I can switch into my Bugra. But I do get a first flinch here, which is really, really nice. And um, I am very lucky here that I actually, after this Iron Head, I think I don't kill it, but I get a second flinch in a row, which is extremely important because now I am able to take it out, and uh, that is just great. This Clefable turned out to be a beast on its own, and that's why we don't like uh, Clefable. It is such a great poke, and it's just so hard to kill, it really is. So anyway, James is coming in, Weezing, and uh, it has no chance of living this in it, but... So, uh, Metagross, truly, truly the MVP. I think he took out every single poke on his team besides the Sharpedo, which uh, Vulcan the Gigalith actually disposed of. So anyway, um, GG, Tiki Gamer, um, definitely, definitely a good battle, and I had a lot of fun actually. I really did. So yeah, I really believe that my opponent, um, the Dragon Factor, right? I said, I said the Dragon Trainer. Never mind. Uh, the Factor that he, he actually. I think he was quite nervous when he was going against me and that's why I did so many not misplays but you know I probably took him off guard a few times and that was enough for him to uh, to get it with him being a bit nervous to actually not be able to cope with that and recover back on and of course uh, Mega Metagross is truly a beast so I get that you know once I got three posts out of his way I basically have nothing really to fear besides the Clefable and uh, I decided to turn this game much longer than it needed to be because I wanted my Mew to be a <laughs> to be able to uh, steal his tactics. Obviously, it didn't work like that. Uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, you know, thank you all for watching. I'll try to get a few battles today so I have something to upload before going away for Christmas. So 
great out of my guys of course thank you for always watching don't forget to leave a like and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and remember the sky is the limit so have a good day and take care guys all right bye